Hello everyone and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I noticed last episodes were a little boring so I thought today we could just get on with um, some questing. I've now basically grown all these trees. Um, they provide me if I wanted it with vanilla and I think that's pepper. That's lemons, cinnamon, which you get from the bark, peach, uh, I think these are olives, and nutmeg. Nutmeg. Um, and I guess I can show you that with the vanilla beans. These saplings that you get from bone mealing, you can also produce them by just combining the product with a jungle sapling. And you might ask yourself, well, jungle saplings? What the? We, only, we didn't get one, right? We only got spruce and birch and oak at the beginning. It's not an issue, though, because from these trees, um, they give jungle wood and also jungle leaves. And they don't drop their own saplings, so these leaves, if I punch them, I won't get vanilla saplings. I will get jungle saplings, so that's the way to get those. Which is also the way to get vines, because you build your... um your big jungle tree, so you get four jungle saplings, build a big tree, and that will have vines growing on it, so you, you that's the way to get those um, as well. But I don't currently really have much of a use for those, so there is that. Um, I think firstly I should probably show you my new food, because I'm sure everyone's pretty tired of me eating carrot juice all the time. Well, I was anyway, so I... Just, I'm going to switch to the roasted root veggie medley. Um, it's just something that I can currently produce quite easily. Yeah, for that I need carrots, which, because of the way it's set up and carrots are their own seeds, um, the carrots get pumped down here to resupply the planter. So the carrots uh, get put into this overflow chest. But basically I need carrots, I need onions, sweet potatoes, and spice leaves. And all of that is currently growing in my little big farm setup. And incidentally the thing you get most out of this is uh, oak wood or whatever wood you planted, uh, in my case oak. I have so much of it. I will s shut this thing down quite soon because I'm actually going to run out of places to put all this stuff um, because I currently really don't need that much. And opening that chest drops my frame rate. It's kind of annoying. And I also have almost three stacks of salt now from the sludge boiler, a bunch of dirt, all this stuff. Um, again, not really much use for it. I made the presser last time, I think, and I now place it down and I used it. What you do to the presser is you put in soybeans uh, on the top, and you get soy milk and silken tofu. And then you can put in silken tofu again. Uh, yeah, just go with the whole stack. And that gets pressed into firm tofu. And I, I get the feeling that whoever made this mod wanted to promote eating tofu because it is the single most useful ingredient of all of them, basically. Now, once you have, you, you might need some potatoes or wheat to make flour, but then tofu can be used to replace pretty much every type of meat in every recipe. You can replace fish, pork, beef, chicken, anything can re be replaced by tofu, which tells you about well, technically it tells you what tofu tastes like. Um, and the soy milk you get can be used to replace all milk. And uh, the soft tofu can be replaced, can replace a bunch of other stuff. So if you need milk for anything, if you need cream, butter, whatever, you can make all of that from soybeans. So you could end up using five different ingredients, all of them originally coming from soybeans, and making a hamburger just basically out of soybeans. Um, kind of... Kind of funny, but as I said, I think someone was trying to make a political point with that. Anyway, on to the mindless slaughtering of migrating birds. Um, we have some stuff to do. I only put these here to remind myself that I used them. I made a bunch of these structural MK3 upgrades, which um, give seven slots. And then I made a bunch of storage upgrades, which um, basically improve storage capacity. And these are made quite simply by two pistons and a barrel. So um, I, I just went ahead and made these. I actually think I want to use some of them. Now, the first thing I want to do, I've already made this once, but hey, just for the fun of it, this is bakeware. Um, 
Now I think you can make it from bricks as well, yes. So this is another thing that you use, so I can show the uses. Um, that's basically what you use to make any sort of baking recipe. You, um, yeah, you put the bakeware in with the, the ingredients. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can actually find the, the recipe I'm currently using. Because what I'm eating is this roasted root veggie medley, but you can make that in multiple ways. And for example, I'm not growing turnips, onions, carrots, spice leaf, and the turnips can be replaced by sweet potatoes. This is the one. See, onion, carrot, spice leaf, sweet potato, and bakeware makes this stuff. And instead of one meat, uh, one, one hunger point, it restores three, and it also lasts longer, so it's got more um, saturation, I think. And for the quest, we also need to make a mixing bowl. And this works quite similar to the juicer and the bakeware. There's just a bunch of shapeless recipes that you um, that you use to make stuff. Quite important for me is going to be the dough, which is just salt, any sort of flour, and water. And the best kind of water to use is... where is it? Just that. Fresh water from Pam's Harvest Craft. Um, get out of that. Um, the way you make fresh water is quite simple. You fill a bucket with water, and now you can use that in the making of the dough, but it's kind of... Well, you don't have to, because you can just craft it into four fresh water, and you keep your bucket. If you use the water directly, you also keep your bucket, but um, this way you get four times as much out of it without putting really much more effort into it, and this stuff stacks, so... Yeah. Um... Now, as I said, I'm just going through the last of my carrot juice, at least the last I have on me. I think there's about three stacks left here. Um, but yeah, we were going for quests, so let's go for Hell's Kitchen. And we've made a juicer, bakeware, and the mixing bowl. And we've also made apple juice, which would have been the next step. But now we can claim our reward. And the next quest we should be able to do as well, which we need a cutting board, skillet, mortar and pestle, and a pot. Um, so let's start with a cutting board. I didn't know all these recipes anymore, so... Okay, I need a plank, a stick, and an iron. Well, I have iron on me, I have sticks on me, so... Plank, stick, iron. Um... Next thing would be a skillet, and that's a stick and two iron. I hope the frame rates are okay. A lot of the lag currently is caused by stuff that's not going to stay forever. Mostly the, uh, the Tinker's Construct thing causes a bit of lag. Only whenever it's making an, uh, an ingot or a block that somehow filling in the liquids really lags the game. The barrels, all of them rendering stuff, if these are like item frames, they are really bad you notice, or you might not notice, but I get something like 80 to 90 FPS when I look this way. When I look back at the barrels, it goes down to 50, 30-ish. So, really substantial drop. And then the, the sprinklers and all that takes a little bit as well, but not as much. So those aren't actually causing much lag. It's mostly uh, the barrels. And they won't stay forever. Anyway, we also needed a, needed a mortar and pestle. And that's four stone, uh, three stone and a stick. Do I have stone here? I think I do. And all of these work very similar to to the ones you already know. There's different recipes which require them. And um, they don't have any durability. So make them once, they last forever. That's not really even a point in having made two of the bakeware, except for showing it, I guess. Uh, the thing, the final thing would be a pot, I think. And that's four iron and a stick. Don't have enough iron here, but I have a bunch in that chest. Um, resources are no longer much of an issue. And there's the pot, and I think that's the quest done. So let's claim the reward. Next thing would be to make a bunch of stuff. Um, we could probably make that, actually. Um... It, it says we already have fresh water, because I just made it. So, I mean, I guess we could go through and try making these. 
But anyway, um, now with these full hearts that you sometimes get as quest reward, make sure they really are full hearts. Check them in your inventory, because there's also a stuff called a rotten heart, which looks the same. And I believe it's even been renamed in this mod pack, so it, it's called full heart as well, but it's not actually one. It Instead of giving you a life, it will take one away. Um, but just like with the other hearts, I'm just putting these in storage. Because right now I don't really need the additional health. Um, the additional lives, I guess. I haven't died yet. I mean, as I said, there's, there's definitely a chance that I will. And I'm just putting in storage upgrades into these, um, because I have enough space. From I, I gave them three upgrade slots to be able to take the void upgrade, but that only takes one slot. So I have one left, which means I can increase their capacity to two stacks. Um, not really necessary, but some of them are actually full, which, as I said, because of the void upgrades, that's not an issue. But hey, if I can store twice as much without much of a cost, why not? And I've also been getting a bunch of tools from these... Uh, from these mobs and a bunch of bunch of items basically. So I'm going to start smelting these eventually. The the chain stuff is really the most important, but um, we'll actually make it have a different solution for making steel. Okay, I'm going to wait for these because there's some other quests that I want to do. But first let's check if we can't Whoa that frame lag. Um I'm hoping it's still okay. I mean it should be. It's it barely drops above below thirty and that's just fine. Okay, so we have a bunch of firm tofu, and this thing here doesn't supply shift clicking. It's kind of annoying. You can automate it using using uh, using pipes and hoppers and all that, but shift clicking doesn't work. Don't know why. It seems completely pointless. But okay, fresh milk is the first one we need. So let's check that out. I'm hoping my keyboard isn't too loud again, but I keep remembering that every single time. Fresh milk. I can supposedly only make from real milk. I'm wondering if the soy milk works as a replacement for the quest. Yes, it does. Okay. So the next thing would be to make cheese. Um, we're still missing one one thing, I think. One of the cooking things, but we'll get there eventually. And that's made with a pot, some salt, and some kind of milk. So we have salt up here. We have a pot, we have milk, We're using soy milk of course, and cheese. Cheese made from tofu. Uh, the next thing we have salt, okay, so we need butter and heavy cream. Um, butter. Butter is silken tofu or heavy cream and salt in a saucepan, and I think the saucepan is the one we're still missing, so I will definitely need two of these soybeans to make... just go in there, I'm always trying to shift click even though I know it doesn't work. Um, and we also need a saucepan, which is a stick and an iron. I don't have an iron on me, okay. Closest iron is going to be at the mob farm, because some of the zombies drop iron ingots. And I now have 30 of these miniature red hearts, which is the, the amount I was really going for, so I might set these up to be... no, actually, I might set up the zombie brains to be destroyed automatically, because I don't have much use for those. And with the miniature red hearts, I just might do something with them quite soon. Uh, this way around, or... no, the other way around. Saucepan, there we go. And now let's go up and fetch our silken tofu and soy milk from the presser. Which works automatically without power supply, by the way. And the soy milk, no, the silken tofu actually should count as a replacement for the heavy cream. Doesn't, interesting. Anyway, pot, silken tofu, and salt. No, saucepan, that's the one. And we get butter. Uh, Okay, fine. I'm just putting some stuff into storage here that I don't really need. Um, okay. And heavy cream is the only one we're missing. Um, I'm not certain if there's any... 
Okay, we'll make that with a mixing bowl and milk. So I need my soy milk back. Thank you. Um, and mixing bowl, soy milk, heavy cream. Ta-da! Again, everything made from tofu. Um, so I've just made milk, cheese, butter and heavy cream without touching a cow. Um, yeah. It's gotta be really tasty. Anyway, from that we get a full heart and four and eight cherry jelly sandwiches. Next thing would be to make a glacial precipitator, which we need to make anything that's cooled. And um, actually, I think we could go for that as well. Really, make sure this is a full heart. Good. If it were a rotten heart, I'd just throw it away essentially. Um, now glacial precipitator. Let's check what that takes. As I said, I really want to burn through some quests today. I think I've been a little uh, a little slow on that. Okay, I need two water buckets, machine frame, piston, copper. I need a bit of redstone for that and a bit of redstone for that. Everything else I should have on me. Okay. And these cherry jelly sandwiches count as a nourishing meal, which is actually a, ch a cherry jelly sandwich gives me more food and is better and healthier for me than a root veggie medley. Again, just just take the, the food mod for what it is. Uh, it, it's not really... I think it's not intended to be particularly realistic, and I think I only needed three redstone. But who cares? I have tons. Getting more all the time. Um, Boy, this thing is filling up fast, and I'll get to the graphite in just a moment. I need a gold. I need to get rid of all the cooking stuff. Um, Keeping the food. Um, no, actually, I want all of these out here as well, because that's supposed to be a special chest for special stuff. Special people. Uh, no, I only need four to make a machine frame. And I'm using aluminum still because, I don't know. I mean, I have tons of iron now, so I could use iron, but hey, why should I? I need two water buckets. I need a piston. I made a bunch of pistons so earlier to... Um, and I'm using iron for the piston just to confuse people. Um, I made a bunch of these pistons earlier for the for the upgrades for the um, for the barrels. I made four stacks of them, I think. Okay, I didn't have any planks lying around anymore, I think. So let's go make a piston. Then I need gold for that some copper and two water buckets. Okay. Hop, hop. I need gold and copper. I still have some extra high low copper. I sh I'm just trying to get rid of that. Um, so this. And by the way, I can't shift click on this recipe. It won't, won't put the items in. That's because the recipe contains water buckets which aren't stackable. So if a recipe contains anything that's not stackable, it doesn't work, basically. I even get my buckets back. Yay! Okay, whoa, we have completed quite a lot now. Um, most of these are small quests. Anyway, we get a full heart and that. The glacial precipitator, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, we've made a presser and a soybean. I don't think we made the presser for a quest. Hmm, fair enough. Um, I thought we'd already had a quest that required a presser, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, see, some people dislike torturing poor innocent animals. Well, there's a difference between eating them and tortur torturing them, but let's not get political here. Um, now the next quest is going to take a lot more stuff. And also make farm labor, which requires a uh, tomato. Again, as you can see from the rewards, these are really quite irrelevant quests, but hey, get some stuff out of it. Um, now the follow-up quests, such as... Uh, did I get the follow-up quests? Yes, I didn't. So for example, this quest here asks for a single piece of toast. Now the next quest will ask for 10,000 pieces of toast. And the same with these. This one will ask for, what, I think, a thousand soy milk and a thousand firm tofu. This one will want 10,000 lettuce, 10,000 tomatoes, um, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so I can do the preliminary one, like salad dressing, requires one vinegar, that's easy enough. But I can't go for the, for the second level of quests yet, they just take way too long. 
And these should stack. They do. Um, the Glacial Precipitator. I should really show you that. I'm just going to put it down here. It's not going to function here because it needs power and water. But uh, just showing you what it does. You supply it with water and power and it makes ice, snow or snowballs. Um, which are useful for a variety of things. So I might put that down somewhere in the near future and um, okay, I'll sleep. I wanted to do a little bit more questing, but I think, actually, let me just check. Now, all these preliminary food quests I should, I could probably do now, but... Um, there's one thing here. Moving power. The RedNet energy cable. That's uh, the one I could also do. As I said, I, uh, I prepared that since last time. I think this should make me the normal RedNet cables. And then I need to do something like this to make the energy cables. Da da! Quest complete. And I choose the culinary generator. These are all weird. The high temperature one is. I have no idea why would you, you would use this. I mean, it can produce a lot of power per tick, but it uses up a bazillion fuel for that. It's um. I don't know what the point of this is. It's quite bad actually. Heated redstone generator. This, I believe, takes liquid redstone or redstone and lava as fuel. I don't want to use my redstone for power generation, though. And the culinary one just takes food. Hmm, might as well, I guess. And that unlocks Feel My Power, which requires a resonant flux capacitator. And from the rewards you get, you see that this is quite a um, quite an advanced quest. You get a endothermic pump, a full redstone energy cell. Yeah. The building this isn't actually so difficult, but I'll I'll prepare that for next time, I think. Um, I also prepared st some other stuff, so I should really get going, but... Okay, so these are normal full hearts. I can put these in here. Uh, I will never again touch these red net cables, I think. I've never used them in this mod pack, and I doubt I ever will. Culinary generator, I just like to check out, see what that does. Um... Um, I just put it down here quickly. Let's see what it does with these fish lettuce wraps. Oh, power level 40. And the power level um, is influenced, is affected by how much how much hunger the item restores. So this is a light meal, it won't give very much. And the time remaining, by how much sat saturation it gives. And I'll try the cherry jelly sandwiches after that. Um... No, I think I had some other quest that I actually accidentally finished, or maybe not. Yes, I did, for the hoarding, the first one. Um, this one required, I already had made the better barrels, and I had made the structural MK1 upgrades. It finally, finally requires storage upgrades. And I think these structural upgrades actually work with any wood plank. I don't, it doesn't need to be oak, I think. I think I made them with birch. I don't know, though. I might be wrong. Anyway, I now have made the final item for that quest. And let's go for the second one. No, let's go for the first one. And to continue with that, um, this requires 100 ice. And that's only the first level. I think the next level of that quest requires 10,000 ice. These are all gigantic collection quests. They start off often enough with a single, single one that's quite easy, like collect 100 glass. And then the next stage will be, okay, you collected 100, now give me a million. Um, so these quests will, will take a long time, and I won't go further into it right now because that requires an ME system. Talking too fast. Um, and that's about it, yeah. Okay, so next time we'll start working on steel-powered flight, but make sure this is a nice heart, very good. Okay, let's look at these. These give a higher power level and last longer, so... Not that bad, really. I'm just filling up the cell for some reason. Um, okay. I feel like I've been going through too much this episode. Please let me know. Would you prefer the slightly more boring explanation-y stuff, or do you want me to do most of that off-camera, not explain too much, and just burn through quests like crazy? Let me know. Um, and I'll go through the reward bags. Basic, good, and greater. So that should be the order of quality. I hate these rewards. Glass bottle of natural gas. I think that 
I never use those, ever. I have five stacks of them or so in my private world, just lying about, never ever being used. Now the good ones. Uh, I mean, the notebook is kind of nice, and I get a bunch of music discs and radio, but really, it's pointless. Um, and let me just put all of this away. It's just taking up space. Next one. Uh, you see, I would have liked this reward very early on, so I have. it would just give me some building blocks. Remember that first cobblestone generator that I built out of dirt and slabs and all that? So that would have been helpful then, but right now, not really. Uh, Nightfish. Again, this is Mariculture, which I don't intend to work on for a long time. And finally, my last hope. I mean, if I ever decide to oh, you use these hammers, having them will be nice, but I don't see that in the immediate future. Okay. Um... I didn't even manage to get through all this, sadly, so next time we'll do that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll actually record these back-to-back. -back. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.